so this program or this uh video is for cis 61 for shasta college for kate and paulin's class fall of 2021 this is the caesar Cipher cipher program which is program five which is on the website you can see what it entails it adds or subtracts a uh, number value from a letter and then it either encodes or decodes what your output is gives you a couple examples here then let's see what we have here So obviously we put our libraries in here, input output stream, input output manipulation, or string, even the say standard. We initialize and prototype three functions to encode, decode, and what the user choice is. So this is prototype and initialize. We have to actually write these functions. This one will return a value, an integer value. This one kid two. This one kid two. So we run our main first, declare what our decision is, is an integer zero. So we run a while loop while it's true. Welcome to the Caesar, Caesar Cipher machine. Okay. So their decision. This is where we put this value here, but we call our function first. And this is choice one. We call the function for encode. Choice two. We call the function for decode. Choice three. Clear the screen, see how thank you, and break out of a loop here. This is for our decision is string. This gets the user's input. Would you like to encode another? Yes or no. Decision two. If decision two is yes, or decision two is no, then we break out of loop again. Else it's not a valid response. Please retry. And we continue to go back here again and go through this. However, if we break, then we go into this if statement. Decision two is no, or decision two is no. And we clear because we're st stopping what we're doing. Say thank you, and we break out of the loop again. We do a clear system, and then we exit. So our functions. Let's go ahead and save this and run it really quick. like it's running correctly. No. Okay. So this is where we call our function, the first function, to get the user choice. Make a string variable. Do our while loop again. Would you like to encode, decode, or quit? Please enter your choice. And that is one, two, or three, or encode Actually, it would be encode, decode, or quit. So if decision is to encode, or decision is to decode, or decision is to quit, we're going to break out of the loop right here. 
So that would be here where we go next. However, if something else is entered, we enter it, we go, oh, this is not a valid response. Please try again. And we continue. And that goes back to the top of the loop and does this and this and this and this again. However, once we break out a loop, if we have encode, then we return the value of one. If we have decode, we return the value of two. If we want to quit, we return the value of three. So our encode variable, our encode, I'm sorry, function, I'm getting tired. The string variable first for our message that we enter in. This is for our integer value of what we enter in for our, our cipher shift. Then we have the length of our message and the counter variable. Please enter a message you'd like to encode. Lowercase only, please. Next line. And you do the C in ignore to ignore the first. The, you see, there's space for a enter key. Then we get line for the entire message string that's entered in. We enter the shift, the, the value that's an integer value. Mm. Then we take the length of the message here, message dot length, so it gets the entire message. Here's your encoded message. Then we run a for loop. Counter is less than length minus one, so that's the end of the length. We add one of the counter. Character letter of the message is add the counter number. If it's punctuation and the letter or the space letter or it's a digit in the letter. And then see out the letter. if it's a letter, if it's shifted upwards because we're encoding, we shift the number less than or equal to Z. Character is the new letter of the letter plus the shift. Let me see out the new letter. Else, if the new letter is A <coughs> plus the letter plus the shift, minus z minus one <coughs> you see out the new letter and you inline inline so you add two lines you turn it out of that so you do the same same exact code as right above for decoding except you're going to shift it backwards for them. So you create a message variable, you create the shift variable, you create the link variable, and you create your counter again as new variables. Here's the message you like to decode, you ignore the inner key in the, in the very beginning. You get the line of the message. Enter the shift, you see in the shift. So you take the length is the string of the message, get the length, is your decoded message here. So you go four, counter starting at zero, to less than, or equal to the length, minus one. So that's the end of the string. It means your counter. So for your letter, the message at the number of your counter, if it's punctuation of the letter, or it's a space, or it's a digit, you can see out the letter. And also, if it's the letter minus the shift number is greater than or equal to A, the character of the new letter is the letter minus the shift number value. And you print out the new letter. Else, if the new letter is Z minus the letter 
A minus the letter minus the shift value minus one. Print out the new letter. So that should be it. Yeah, we had two lines in the program. So we're gonna save this. And we're gonna run it again. One. Yep. Sure. C B B G G. That looks good. So we not want to know to do it again. So that is programming assignment five. Caesar Cipher for Shasta College CIS 61 for fall 2021 semester. Once again, I want to thank Isaiah Witten for really helping me out on this. Also make sure you to include him in your acknowledging section of your computer code. And other than that, I am going to say good night now because I'm tired and I'm about to go to bed. So thank you for watching and I will see you all later. Anyway, remember to email me if you have any problems. I always try to help you if I can. And also you can leave comments in the in the, in the video section too. All right, thanks. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.